All right, guys, we have pallets and pallets of these Boston Power cells, both the Sonata and the Swing. Let's take a look at these. All right, let's talk about these batteries. If you were holding off for that one deal, that you know that hasn't come before these might be it these are boston sonatas 5300 milliamp hour cells i tested these and they test full capacity right i can't tell how old they are they have all these numbers the the spec sheet the data sheet doesn't say much but it does say a couple of things that are interesting so here's a data sheet uh, nominal capacity 5300 milliamp hours nominal energy 19.3 watt hours per cell that's pretty pretty good nominal voltage is 3.65 volts grab metric is 2.2 watt hours per kilogram uh volume metric is 490 per uh watt hour liter uh per liter right uh so check it out 2.2 watt hours per kilogram that's actually pretty good i think tesla is like around 250 the Tesla Model S, so these are pretty high energy density, right? Um, 23 milli ohms nominal cell impedance. Let's check this out cycle life to 80% capacity greater than a thousand cycles. So these are legit, pretty legit cells, right? Um, standard charging method, constant current, constant voltage, right? 3.7 amps. So it's 0.7C to 4.2, 4.2 to 50. Yeah, so, you know, just typical stuff, charging. Recommended fast charge, 8 amps. You can charge these guys at 8 amps, which is uh, 8 amps. It's less than an hour. So you could probably do these like 40 minutes, half hour to 40 minutes. And you can get like 90% of these batteries probably charged up. 1.5C, which is really weird. Usually batteries don't like to be charged fast. Uh, nominal cell weight 98 grams operating uh, temperature charge discharge it's negative 10 to 60 discharge is negative 40 to 70 c storage temperature 40 to 60. so they also have a cycle life at a hundred percent depth of discharge so this is basically going all the way from fully charged you know 4.2 volts down to three point, you know, or three or what, what would be the, actually doesn't say what is the, the lower, but I think on these batteries, sometimes it's up down to like 2.5 volts, right? So if you do that full thing, uh, you lose about 600 milliamp hours in about 600 cycles, right? But this is the worst life that you can give these batteries and they'll they'll give you about 600 uh for if you're going to use this for storage right or for an e-bike or whatever you could always just like not charge them all the way up kind of you know charge them you know 80 percent 90 percent and then uh, you'll you know you'll be in the thousands like it said before you know uh greater than a thousand cycle life to 80 percent greater than a thousand right so I guess this uh, 4,500, yeah, it's not, it's less, lesser than 80% of the original capacity. So other than that, um, it has voltage graphs, temperature, discharge curve, uh, charge curve at 0.7C, uh, and that's it, not much else. As I remember, these will put out, um, quite a bit of power let's see if we can find another information about what what the power output of these cells are all right so here is the swing version this is the sonata the swing version is the green one and i think this is that cell that has it's a power cell 13 amps right 13 amps um max continuous discharge rate so this is the blue one it's probably gonna be like around eight amps or something. So it's probably like a 1C cell continuous or something. Um, right, this is uh, Boston Sonata 53 discharge, 10 amp discharge test.
Now these are kind of weird because they're like two 18650s put together, right? Uh, but there does exist holders, sort of similar like this. So if you wanted to build a pack for an e-bike or something like that, you could. They do sell that and you could probably, you know, maybe modify it like the regular holders and then, you know, cut them and whatever and then use them there. But also, let me show you how they are compatible with our PCB. First question, do they fit on our holders? And the answer is, yeah, I think you can put them on there. They fit kind of tight, kind of tight. Uh, you might want to put like a zip tie, if you do that, like a zip tie from the little hole right here across so they don't, so you can apply pressure and they don't want to pop out, right? I think you can. I think this, this works. And of course you can do both sides of these uh, PCBs or you can do single or you can do double or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Alternatively, then you can also do the following. We're going to place these cells in here and glue them on here. Now they're glued, they're a little bit crooked, but it doesn't matter. Let's do the other side. Now, unfortunately, these are really hard to solder onto because it's got this aluminum thing, right? And so what you're going to have to do is get yourself one of these cheap Sunco 788H uh, spot welders and then the get the, the, you know, the extending unit and then we can uh, spot weld these batteries here. Set it to 80 or 802 settings and then all the way up these are one quarter watt resistors let's see if it's got enough power to spot well those so it doesn't right so next we try the one eighth watt resistors that one works there we go and you put several of these spot welds for redundancy, there we go. The next side, here we go. Now it's the last step, then we are going to solder that cable there. Right, so here we go. We just built one PCB with uh, double-sided, uh, you know, 14 of these cells, right? This would be what, five, 10 amp hours, uh, 24 volt. And it would be capable probably of about, yeah, one C, right? So 10 amp continues, um, which is uh, quite a bit, 200, 200 watts. Something like that. I know the board can handle more. Probably the cells can handle more. I don't know if the those uh, fuses can handle more than six amps. Uh, so those probably would f burn around that. We're gonna sell them at a hundred dollars a kilowatt hour. So that's about two dollars per cell. These are brand new cells. We don't know how old they are. You might want to cycle them, but uh, most all of these boxes are brand new. All right, so I know I only talked on uh, this video about the blue Sonatas, but the swing are also available. We have both of those cells, and remember that one can put out more, about twice as much power. If you're interested in these, just go to jack35.com and the links will be in the description. All right, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one, bye.